Good morning, y'all. It's the Minty Caliber here. And uh, I have two topics I want to talk about. Or not really two topics. One was something that happened to me last night. And the other one's the topic. But uh, let's talk about what happened to me last night. So, went out to eat. <clears throat> when I came home, the door was locked. Because my grandfather, he locks the door whenever we leave. Which is a smart thing to do. It's a logical thing to do. But uh, the door was locked, so we were waiting for my little sister to go get the key from him because he was out here giving the uh, uh, Chihuahua his medicines. Uh, Chihuahua has conge congestive heart failure. You know that Chihuahua a little bit. Yeah, he's uh, it's not doing too good right now. He's actually sitting over there. But I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, I was standing there, probably about 40 fucking degrees outside. That's cold for Louisiana. For some of you Northerners up there, not really that cold, but. For people down south 40 degrees it's cold but uh i started getting lightheaded and not feeling good and i started getting dizzy and nauseous and i ended up throwing up last night and uh i was gonna make a video but as soon as my head hit the pillow i was out that's how bad i was feeling i don't know what the fuck hit me but it hit me hard anyway so throughout the night i slept most of the night i woke up at three o'clock this morning went downstairs to get something to drink and a uh, little bit, and the other chihuahua we have started barking at me because, well, obviously they didn't know who was coming downstairs. They do that a lot. But uh, once they realized it was me, the other chihuahua went lay down. But this little guy over here, you can't see him. But little bit is the sweetest dog ever. Ever since I woke up this morning, that dog has been by my side. And it's not even like technically my dog, it's my grandparents' dog. But he sensed that something was wrong with me. He knew something that had happened last night, and that's why he's been by my side. This dog, he he's loyal to one person, but when it comes to somebody else in the house, say, like, if I get sick, he'll be by my side. If anybody in the house gets sick, he will not leave their side, and a lot of people take dogs for granted. But uh, we just came out to the shed. Uh, my grandfather ain't up yet, but he's sitting over there enjoying the nice little warmth. You can hear him cough every now and then. Poor little guy has congestive heart failure, so that's why he's coughing like he is. But, um, <clears throat> other than that, I mean, he's doing pretty good. But, uh, let's get on to the actual topic of the video. And this has a lot to do with vaping. Now, I know that this ain't primarily a vaping channel, but I do want to speak out on this. So, yeah. So, I, when I got home, I did watch a little bit of YouTube, and I came across the video that was uploaded two hours before I got home and I was like okay well it says uh vaping what we don't know about it and uh the video is complete fucking bullshit I'm gonna put this out here now um the guy in the video he only listed three ingredients that's propylene glycol flavoring and nicotine um had a bottle of e-juice right here and uh let's see uh it doesn't say um but this has VG in it. This is a uh, primarily VG e juice. This is what I vape. But the fact that he didn't list uh, VG as one of the main ingredients in e juice is bad on his part and makes the vaping community look bad because we have people talking about this shit that they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're just putting out all this bullshit and whatnot. And uh, yeah. And the funny thing is, he said if you heat up propylene glycol. It has the uh, possibilities to form formaldehyde. And I thought that was complete and utter bullshit considering that propylene glycol is used to cook with. So if it's used to like cook with and whatnot, you think we wouldn't be able to cook with it if it had the possibilities of producing formaldehyde. Um, that's one thing on his part that he got wrong. Propylene glycol does not produce formaldehyde. No way it, it doesn't. It's not, it has not been proven. Um, propylene glycol is to be known by the FDA as generally safe whatever the fuck that means but um when i see these people talking about uh vaping say we don't know much about it just it fucking irritates me and uh honestly if you're gonna talk about vaping at least get your fucking facts right um include all the ingredients that's in uh e-juice that's vegetable glycerin propylene glycol nicotine and natural and artificial flavorings so yeah but um to be honest i don't fucking understand it 
And I see in the comment section, all these people are sitting here saying that, oh, we don't know much about it, this, that, and the other, da, 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 basically agreeing with this guy. And I simply point out to him that the University of East London did a study on vaping. Two studies, actually, because the first one was technically inconclusive. So the second one they did, it proved that vaping is 95% safer than smoking. And somebody had been, had enough nerve to correct me on that and say, oh, well, that's, the, uh, that's improper terminology. It should be... It's less harmful or less health threatening or some shit like that. It's like, I don't give a fuck. If it's 95% safer than cigarettes, well, then it's the same thing as saying it's less harmful than cigarettes. I mean, seriously, come on, you fucking dope. But, uh, I want to give a few shout outs real quick. The first shout out goes to Real Outlaw 89. The second shout out goes to NH Step. And the third shout out goes to Ohio Vapor. I ain't got to, uh, tell you all about these guys. You know what to do. Go follow their channels. Alright, so let's get back on topic here. So, I just think it's m utterly senseless that you're going to sit here and uh, talk about vaping when you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, you're spreading lies and you're not like giving the full information on e-juice and how it was made and so on and so forth. Now, does this video piss me off? No, not necessarily because the guy probably didn't know. I mean, a lot of people don't know much about vaping. Uh, they don't do their time to actually do research. Now that kind of pisses me off because we have the World Wide Web available at our fingertips, but yet nobody seems to be able to uh, use Google for shit, and it's fucking sad. And then you have news articles, or not really news articles, but fake news articles that are saying that, <clears throat> oh, uh, vaporizer exploded in a teen's mouth. It's like. Well, you don't provide no video evidence. You don't provide how it happened. You don't, like, have any proof. The only uh, picture you attach to your whole fucking article is a fucking uh, x-ray of a mouth. And I'm like, well, that's not proof to me. And I've seen another guy in the comment section of that one video who uh, shared a link. And I clicked on the link and I read it. And I read down and it said, um, the explosion was due to battery accidents, says the mom. And I pointed out to that guy, I said, did you not even, like, did you even read it? It says, the explosion was due to a battery accident said by the mom, or as the mom says. So, yeah. Um, if people would actually read some of these articles that they're sharing, they would realize that it's user error for the most part. Um, I had an ex-buddy, and uh, Ohio Vapor told me this, and I got this guy into vaping, and he said that his uh, mod melted, and I'm like, well, what the fuck did you do to it? I've had this for a while now. I've been vaping for about four months and uh, never had an issue, to be honest. I got to get new batteries, but that's about it. I'm um, probably going to get me some uh, LGs. I'm going to get um, six of them. So that way I'm not having to constantly charge, but yeah. But honestly, I, if you're going to vape, at least do it properly. Don't be a fucking jackass and put, like, a fucking .05 coil on a mech mod that only has a single 18650. You're just asking for trouble. Anyways, guys, if this video entertains you at any point, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to comment and like. This is Demented Caliber signing out.